Hi guys, so just a quick update to let you know what I've been doing the last little while. Um, looks like I haven't posted anything for quite a while. Um, but what you're looking at here is my fourth axis uh, rotary table that I designed and 3D printed. Um, this prototype uh, was, was designed more to prove out and test the roller cam mechanism that drives it. Um, I have seen, you know, uh, worm drive mechanisms and there's a, a harmonic drive mechanism. Um, but it looks like the, the roller cam is kind of the, the favored way to go as far as having a rigid product and, you know, with zero backlash. Um, I do have it kind of jerry-rigged up to some power here so I can jog it back and forth um, and we can see how well it's working at the moment. I was also, you know, kind of pleasantly surprised that even for a plastic version that there is zero backlash. Um, so it does seem to be working as designed, which I was you know, pretty happy with. Um, there was a little bit of a grinding noise in this particular model and I, I isolated it down to the, the timing pulley that drives the roller cam at the bottom there. I did print that with my old 3D printer um, so there seems to be some inaccuracy that's kind of preventing it from meshing with the belt as smoothly as it should. So I think that's where the, the source of that noise is coming from. It's not a big deal for the prototype. Um, again, I was more interested in improving out the, the roller cam itself, um, which does seem to work. So I'm happy about that. Um, anyways, so that's where I'm at right now. I will uh, have to have that roller cam 5-axis machine somewhere. Um, and I can integrate that into a, a, a more functional version uh, for further testing uh, and a, a ultimately into like a five axis training table for my machine. So I will post more videos to let you know how things are progressing and uh, maybe if you want to follow along and see how things work out. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.